Hi and welcome to the final video of this MailChimp course. So we started from nothing. First step, we signed up for MailChimp. And then we looked at the content section and saw how you can work with the creative assistant, create email templates, design your brand kit. And then from there, we went on to audience. We saw how you can import audiences. We looked at the different settings for audiences. And we also looked at how to create tags, segments, and so on. And then we looked at forms and saw how you can set up sign-up forms. And we did create different forms, ranging from pop-up forms. You saw how you can create the pop-up and then add it manually to your website so that it can show up. We also looked at other forms. If you want to create your own form, if you want to create a form, you don't have a website, all the forms you created are here. If you click on view all, you can see all your forms. All your forms are here. The sign up form that you created. There's an SMS sign up form. You can click on it and use it and use it for sign ups. So just copy the URL and share it. So if you click on it, You can share the link and somebody can sign up. Once your SMS marketing for MailChimp is enabled and you also have credit for the SMS sending. So we also have the sign up landing page that we created, contact form. If you don't have a website, you can use the MailChimp contact form. If you don't have a website, you can also use the MailChimp hosted form to collect leads, subscribers, just share the link on social media, YouTube, or wherever, and people will be able to go to your form and sign up. The link is there. I also showed you a trick whereby you can use Cloudflare to redirect a domain to this form. So we've looked at different types of forms. We also saw how you can set up certain plugins on WordPress to add a sign-up form on WordPress, how to add a pop-up on WordPress with a plugin, we did the same thing on Shopify. You saw how you can add your pop-up on Shopify. And we also did one example with Squarespace. We did a demonstration for sending newsletters. We also did something about automations. You learned how to create automations. So if you go here, you can see we created all these automations. If you come here under all flows, it will show you all the campaigns all the automations that we set up. So we did a few examples just to help you learn and understand how you can do it yourself. This is where all the different things you've created will be all the way from landing pages, automations, email newsletters, and so on. And then after working with automations, you saw how you can create, you saw how you can create newsletters, regular newsletters, text-based email newsletters, how you can do A-B testing with multivariate email campaigns and so on. So we've covered a lot in this course and just go through all the videos. In case anything is still missing, you can always go to the MailChimp knowledge base. So if you just search for MailChimp knowledge base, MailChimp help center, You'll see there are lots of guides here. You can search for anything you need. Maybe automations. There are a few articles here that can help you understand how to use automations. For these articles, you can also trim them down based on what you want, whether it's an article or if you want a tutorial. Everything is here for you. That should be able to guide you in case you don't know how to do anything. Just search for what you need and it will be there. Maybe you're looking for multivariate. The multivariate campaigns, you'll see create a multivariate test. All these options are here. Everything you want to learn to use is here. Just search the MailChimp help. All right, so that should end this tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions,
feel free to let me know. I will see you next time in another course. Until next time. Thank you.